I'm Brittany Umar. Welcome to The Nooner, presented by The Village Poorhouse, where you can hang out all weekend to drink, watch sports, and try not to think of Steve Phillips naked. Before we get to any real news, let's clear a few more items off our plate regarding the philandering Phillips and his tubby temptress, Brooke Hundley. After all, it's not the first time Phillips has tossed aside a crazy catcher named Hundley. You know, it's really not fair for this poor girl. She's taking so much abuse because she's fat. But we should really point out that she's fat and a Star Wars geek. At least now we know how she convinced Phillips to show her his birthmarked lightsaber. It is pointless to resist my son. Anyway, Phillips has been suspended from his job at ESPN and will follow his suspension with an extended leave of absence, meaning viewers thirsty for nonsensical tirades loaded with fallacies will have to turn to everyone else on the network. And today they are surely spewing bile about the Yankees, who missed an opportunity to clinch a World Series berth last night. After the Bombers' 7-6 loss to the Angels in Game 5, the ALCS returned to the Bronx because the only pie that A.J. Burnett got last night was humble pie. Yeah, that wasn't very funny, but the ALCS umpire crew said it was, so ha ha ha, suck it down and laugh, bitches. Yeah, the umpires have been so bad in this series that Bud Selig soon plans to replace ALCS crew chief Tim McClelland with Frank Drebin. Hey, it's Enrico Palazzo! A quick note on A-Rod, the Daily News reports that he could be converting to Buddhism for Kate Hudson. A-Rod's obviously a man of strong religious conviction, since he recently became a Kabbalist for Madonna. Anyway, looks like A-Rod hasn't quite figured it out, as he's been seen meditating at the feet of a shirtless CeCe Sabathia. Speaking of big guys, with Chris Jenkins sidelined for the rest of the season, someone named Sioni Buua will take his place. And though at 330 pounds, Buhua can't quite match up with the 360 pound Jenkins, they do have one thing in common, they're both Steve Phillips' type. Over to Big Blue, even though he's been playing all season, Ahmad Bradshaw continues to wear a boot on his ankle during Giants practice. Bradshaw says he can't figure out why, but he's just used to it from the off season. All right, happy Friday, folks. Let's keep the focus on picking up some wins and not production assistance this weekend.